Mm. Alright y'all, so I'm doing a first. I decided to uh, rope drop Universal. And it's uh, pretty chaotic, I've never done it before. So Universal opens at nine today. Today I'm heading over to DreamWorks Land because today is like the official opening day. So we're gonna go check that out. But uh, I couldn't sleep, so I just got here early. So let's see how uh, Universal's rope drop works. And we are back here. It is daytime. It is two days later, not the next day from us seeing the preview center the other night. But uh, we're here today going to check out DreamWorks Land. So let's do it. So DreamWorks Land is over in Universal Studios, Florida, the main park. And that's where a lot of people are headed. Most of the crowd though did go over to islands. I think a lot of people rope dropped that park mainly. We made it with five minutes to spare. But it's interesting because it looks like they're already allowing people to scan in. So I wonder, I'm um, assuming it's like Disney that let people scan in and then just hold them at a certain spot until we can all go in. Let's hope DreamWorks Land is open. We made it in. We broke drop Universe Orlando. Now let's uh, head towards DreamWorks Land. DreamWorks Land kind of has been having a lot of soft openings recently. Um, like a lot of people have already gone in. I just haven't had the chance to make it over yet, but today is the official opening day, June 14th. So let's go see if they have opening day festivities going on. I doubt it, but we can go try. It is DreamWorks Land. It's on the sign, it's this way. So DreamWorks Land is over back by where like the ET Adventure is. It's like where the Woody Woodpecker Coaster used to be and that little play area in the back. Um, but now it's all like DreamWorks stuff. So like Shrek, Kung Fu, Panda, and Trolls. There also is a new tribute store. I might go in there later. Um, it's the summer tribute store. I think it's supposed to be themed to like a uh, DVD store. So like a blockbuster or like a Hollywood video, something like that. But I might stop in there a little bit later. It's so interesting because there was like a huge rush of people coming in. But now that I'm in the park, there's like barely anybody in here. So it's interesting. As well, Universal for like their summer here at Universal, they did debut a new like water drone show in their little lagoon. Um, heard it's pretty good. I got to check it out. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight, but I do have to come back and check that out at some point. And up ahead, I see DreamWorks Land. It appears to be open. I see like a bunch of cast members out front, but like it looks to be open. I hope so. Let's go check out. So this is the sign that is outside of the entrance. You see Kung Fu Panda, the Trolls, Shrek. And you head to the right and you're able to enter over. Oh, and they have some characters meeting. You got Gabby's Dollhouse. I don't know if I've ever watched that show. Or is it a movie? Oops, excuse me. But I have seen Puss in Boots. His most recent movie was really good. So I think Gabby's always gonna be there. Um, and then this line right here will be like a random DreamWorks character. So Puss in Boots is the character today. Poor Gabby, someone needs to give her some love. Over to the right, this is where you can meet Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona at Shrek Swamp right over here. We'll get a little closer in a second. But also, this is E.T. and they added this new sign here for the ride. It's over to the right a little bit. And then we have the snacks. This place is called Swamp Snacks. I've been hearing a lot about that Shrexel. I think it's $12.30, jeez. A far, far, a waffle, swamp dog, mud puddle pudding, chonky donkey chocolate ice pop, and frozen ogre sour apple ice pop. People said something unique is they have green cheese that comes with the Shrexel. Um, I'm kind of scared of that, not gonna lie. And that comes on the Swamp Dog too. But I would try that uh, frozen ogre, it looks good. So over here, this is Shrek Swamp. And by the way, Shrek is like, it's top, probably top three, maybe top five animated movies for me, man. I love this movie, it's so funny. It never gets old. But I believe you meet them either inside or they meet right out here. I don't know if you can go inside. It'll be cool if you can, but I'm not sure where they meet because they're not out yet. But this does look like his swamp. It's pretty cool. I like it. I have a little splash pad for the kids. So like this is mainly, whoa. This is mainly supposed to be an area for like 
kids because that's what this replaced. This used to be like the kids area here at Universal. So they just made it a little bit better. And it's honestly needed at this park because there aren't many offerings for like little kids here. Over here we got King Harold Swamp Symphony. This is kind of by the uh, Swamp Snacks. It looks like if you stand on the the lily pads, the frogs make noise. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. LOL. Whoa. Over here, we got Shrek Swamp for little ogres. So I believe like this is like a play area, but I believe only little kids can go up there. So you have to be below a certain height to go up there from what it seems it's interesting because you must be this tall to play alone i think if you're shorter than that you can go up there with an adult but i think like if you're just an adult by yourself you can't go up there that's my assumption let's go see what pinocchio is talking about oh he's moving he's looking pinocchio's fact shack ring bell for service let's see what happens I like how he's like looking around. It's a cool little animatronic. <laughs> they have a couple little slides over here. Oh, they have quite a few slides actually. This will be a fun, fun space for the for the children to enjoy. Oh, they have a handicap ramp as well. That's really nice to get up to the play area very accessible this is the troll coaster it's called so it's the old woody woodpecker roller coaster they just rethemed it looks cool i like the colors we're gonna get back there in a second though continuing through the swamp it's a nice little area up here yeah this will be a good place to like if you have little ones just to bring them so they can hang out have fun tire them down a little bit they'll enjoy this all right, so I was talking to one of the team members and they gave me like permission to go up the ramp just to look around a little bit. Like it's not busy because the park just opened. And I think a lot of people haven't made it back here yet, but they have a nice little accessible ramp, which I think is great. Inclusion, love that. And you can go up here, go to the top. Oh, that slide is inside Shrek's little porter potty. Oh yeah. Oh, you can see the uh, troller coaster more from up here. It's already a little bit of a line. Everybody ran back to it. I'll probably get on that. Why not? I do like the queue though. It goes kind of like around and throughout the roller coaster. This little kids play area. I love it. Oh yeah, they do have signs saying caution floor may be wet. So when it rains, I can tell like this, um, material i think it's concrete but it's like that slippery concrete it might be a little dangerous when running around the kids feet first please one little ogre at a time we'll see how how long that lasts yeah it's a cool little fun little spot oh it goes all the way around wow you can see et over there as well but it is nice because it does go all the way around i like that Gonna get some nice views of the swamp. Oh my gosh, there's a water squirter. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, at least it's like towards the water play area. That's still crazy. Go out here. Woo! This is nice. Come out here to get some nice views of the land. See the roller coaster. Going through the troll section, the Kung Fu Panda sections a little back over there. But there is a show as well that I heard is pretty good. I might check that out once I find out when the first one is. So yeah, they have they have the water squirters, which are um, honestly pretty dangerous. Kids are gonna have fun with this. Do they actually? Oh wow! Kids will be getting soaked. There's three of them. Whoa! 
This is uh, hilarious. Maybe because like the walking path is right there. So like this one, you can't move it to the left at all because it'll be in the walking path, but you can only move it to the right. But if like you go wild, you can still get people in the walking path. It's funny. I'm living out my Shrek dreams here, guys. I would have loved this as a kid, honestly. It's great. Yeah, I think like adults can like walk around here. There's so much space up here. Um, like adults, I think, can walk around like this section. Uh, you just can't like go down the slides and stuff like that. But this is the slide that's in the porter potty. See the roller coaster. Woo! Yippee! All right, time to head back down. Whoa, this is gonna be quite the space for the kids. It's a big like net. Kids are gonna love that. And now we're going back down. See you guys when I go down the steps. Uh, the porter potty makes quite the noises. <laughs> the slide over here. Stay out of the grass. Oh man. Strike, Jesus. Venturing a little bit deeper. So I think the land's kind of split into like sections. So the front is like Shrek, the Shrek area. Then you move into the trolls area in the middle. And then in the back, you have the Kung Fu Panda area. Over here to the left, let's see what this is. Mama Luna. So I think if you watch the most recent Puss in Boots, um, this was like the old lady with all the cats. This was her house. I think it's like an interactive area. Let's see what this does. Oh my goodness, I think I called somebody. A bell's ringing. That's pretty cool. Oh, I just fed the cat. Oh, yes. Or did I open the door? I don't know. I have some visitors with me now. They're helping me. So, like, sometimes symbols will pop up on the screens over there that relate to, like, the bell of the maraca. Like, you see the uh, bells right there. So, if I hit this bell, I'm calling the cats. And then you go up there, I believe, to like feed them and stuff like that. So it's cool, it's interactive. Gotta hit the maraca. Ah. Yes. The ground has changed, now we're in the troll section. Granted, I think I've only seen like half of the first Trolls movie. Um, but, you know, Universal uses it, so I know about them pretty well. High five hideaway. Nice little gift shop in there. A lot of different merchandise. It's colorful over here. I like how everything's like bigger, so it feels like you're the size of a troll. That's cute. Heard over here the trolls treat the little ice cream they have is good. I like the little boom box that's in. Well, let me see what kind of ice cream. One of the team members said she recommended one of them. Let me see. It's two of them. You got the blue and a pink one. The pink lemonade soft serve with flower sprinkles, the populicious pink. That sounds good. And then what's the blue one? Let's see. Oh, it's vegetarian as well. How nice. And the blue one is huckleberry soft serve with green leaf sprinkles. Huckleberry is interesting. Wow. Well, let's try it. Why not? I got it. I had to get the huckleberry because for one, it's blue. Um, but also, like, I know what pink lemonade tastes like. I have no clue, really, what huckleberry tastes like. So, uh, hopefully it's good. I'm gonna try to let you guys know. I feel like, this ice cream, it stains if it gets on you. So, I mean, this very carefully. Let me see. Hmm. It's interesting. It's, it's, it is ice cream. Like, it tastes like ice cream, but, like, I guess huckleberry flavor. I'm assuming that's what this tastes like, but it is good. I like it, but I'm gonna be careful eating this. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Nice little fountain. And then back here, this is like where the show is that they have in this theater. DreamWorks Imagination Celebration. Next show's at 10 a.m. So I'll definitely stay around to see that. That's actually soon, I think. This is like just some good ice cream in general. Like, this thing is good. I like it. Yes, it's 9 a.m. Yes, I mean ice cream. 
it is what it is. This is my breakfast right here. Um, and it does stain, so like make sure you get napkins. Like my hands are like blue, as you see. So make sure you get napkins when you when you get this. We have a nice little, it's called Poppy's Playground. So I think this is for like the little, little ones. You see they got like a, some smaller things for like that little, that smaller kids just enjoy. So that's cool. All right, so the troller coaster is posting a 25 minute wait. I think I'm gonna hop in the line. It's probably only gonna go up from here for the rest of the day. So why not? I ran the line for the troller coaster. She let me bring my ice cream in just that I had to finish it before I get to the ride. Which makes sense. They have a nice little uh, queue here, extended queue. The roller coaster goes right above you. I don't remember much of how the Woody Woodpecker line was, but this is cool how we're going like right under the ride, right next to it, and essentially through it to get to the loading area. Getting closer. And honestly, this wait wasn't that long. It's only been about 10 minutes and we're about to get to the loading platform. They do only have one train running though, so, but it's a short roller coaster, so it kind of keeps things moving. All right, so there is no recording on the ride, so we're about to get to the low station. I'll give you guys my thoughts when I get off. This is the low station, the platform. It's cute, this is what the trains look like. It's like a caterpillar in the front. Yeah, excited. But I'll update you guys when we get off. I like how you can get the photo right here at the end of the ride. <laughs> What's my face doing? Um, but as soon as you exit, they have like these little photo kiosks. It's cool. All right, trolls. It was a really cute kids roller coaster. Uh, ten out of ten. It was great. Kids love it. It was short to the point. Um, I like it. All right, it is now 9.50, so I'm gonna head over to the show that's starting at 10. Looks like there is a bit of a line forming for it, or quite the line has formed for it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head over to the show, see if we can get a spot. Imagination celebration. Next show at 10, let's do it. All right, so this is the little waiting area right here. We got a few screens showing I guess DreamWorks movies, but they're letting the Lightning Lane people in first. We're going in. Let's go see, uh, see what seating is available. It's a cute little theater right here. Let's go uh, find a spot. Honestly, I'm gonna sit right here on the edge, in the back. This theater is on the smaller side, so like I can see these shows filling up quickly because there weren't a lot of people outside or I didn't feel like it but there's a lot of people in here right now the theater's cool all right so this is the first official show of this show since DreamWorks land opened today so let's see what it's about
upstairs. The stairs. The princess will be up the stairs the highest room in the tallest tower. Shrek, don't get it. Wait a minute, are you Princess Fiona? <laughs>
nefarious activity within the area. That's not true. Sorry, but I'm always on the lookout for Nantuels. Branch, these are our friends. And anything is possible when you have your friends around. All of you! <laughs> you know what they say, Branch. Teamwork makes... The dream happen. <laughs> oh, Branch. Thank you, Amara. You helped me not my book. I see in the clouds. I see everything. Uh, but no, for real, that show was, it was cute. It was really good. The performers are really good. They're singing their hearts out while dancing. It was impressive. So shout out to them. They, they really made the show. Uh, but the show was cute, seeing all the characters and stuff. It was a good kid's show. I think it lasted like 25, 30 minutes. It didn't feel long at all though. Like, it kept moving. So, good show. Check it out. All right, we're now going to Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp. This is the furthest back area of DreamWorks land. This land has a lot going on. Like, there's a lot to look at, a lot to do. Another water play area, it's called the Pond of Perpetual Wetness. Kids won't even know how to say that middle word. But you know, they'll have fun getting wet. Oh, the rocks down there even get you wet. So this is like a a much bigger splash splash area essentially got the gong resounding resonance and yeah this splash pad is much bigger it's the laundry of ultimate cleanliness so yeah if you go over there to the laundry of ultimate cleanliness there's a high chance you'll get wet why do you keep moving oh you can does it do anything it moves this right here. Oh, that's cool. But it's like a constant rainfall over here. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going so I don't get my camera wet. 
it would be cool if you move this because there's like clothes hanging if like the clothes moved as well or like if this is a fan if the fan actually moved maybe it does maybe it's just not working right now but kids will love this water area and back here is Poe Live. This is a live interactive experience with Poe. Help him babysit his cousin, Ling Ling, and ask him any questions you like. Oh my gosh, it's a splash. Oh, is this a water bucket? Oh, it is. Oh, I would have never known that. Oh, people are gonna get soaked standing right there. The only reason I knew that because the cast member said, watch out. Oh, that is tricky. All right, but back here is the Po Live area. It's a nice little seating area. It's where like the ball pit area used to be. You can meet the Dragon Warrior, learn Kung Fu, today train with Po. So I know typically like this is like an actual interactive experience where you like, it's kind of like Turtle Talk or Crush where you can ask Po questions. I don't know if it's currently on now, but that's what this is. There's a lot of, there's some seating back here, but it is like a shaded area. Um, with some fans. I know you used to be able to go to the second level. I don't know if you can. I see the steps over here. Yeah, no, I think the steps are now blocked off. So I don't think you can go to that second level anymore. Oh, and then they have like one of those things you used to see in uh, like elementary school or like at the park where you like, everyone gets on and you just spin like crazy. Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't spin like super fast because I feel like there'll be some serious liability warnings. But that's cute. It's called Mr. Ping's Noodle Caboodle. Mr. Ping. I like it. I like this area. Oh, yeah, there's that water bucket. That's crazy. There are people who are going to be walking across and they're going to get wet because they, they won't notice that. That's going to be interesting. This is the smaller water area. I guess like the main water area. It's got Panda Waterworks. I don't know, there's just a lot of places to get wet and cool off, which is good here at Universal. It's good in the heat during the summer. Kids will love it. And then while heading out of the Kung Fu Panda area, you got the famous Skadoosh on the back. I came back over here as I'm heading out towards the little merchandise stand they have in here. Just to show, they got a lot of plushies. Jinji. Gingerbread man, donkey, Fiona, little donkeys, Puss in Boots, Shrek, the Poe. I do like the Poe with the hat on. He has dumplings, that's cute. So, well, they have headbands. I like how Universal, they're starting to get into headbands, you know. Like Disney, they, of course, are known for their ears, but Universal's making these headbands that are pretty cool. You get some drinks in here. You can get a shirt. Strike happens. You can get the DreamWorks land character. You can get the DreamWorks characters shaped as dumplings, I think. So that's cool. They also do have water shoes, which is really nice. That'll be really helpful. If you do have kids and you come to this area, water shoes will probably be very important, very helpful for their feet. I'm gonna have to come back another time to get that Shrek soul. I just can't. The 12, $12 for a pretzel, it's crazy. I know it's shaped like Shrek and I love Shrek, but $12 is insane. I'll come back another time, try the green cheese, bring somebody with me so I can get other people's reactions of green cheese, you know? And there is a line for the Shrek meet and greet. They aren't out yet, but there is a pretty nice line that is formed. Oh, but I do think I'm gonna get this sour apple ice pop, actually. Yeah, I am gonna try the sour apple ice pop because why not? Frozen ochre sour apple. All right, so I got this frozen ogre sour apple. It comes in a whole packaging. <laughs> it's shaped like Shrek. How do you even take this out? This is uh, intriguing. I do hope it's actually sour. It looks like it will be. I hope it is, but it looks good. And now as we're heading out, they have King Julian. So Puss in Boots is being here earlier, but now it's King Julian and Gabby's still out here. And they also have Shrek and Donkey out over there now. The sun's pretty rough, but they're out meeting now. And the crowd is starting to come. But I got everything done, so I'm heading out of here. But I got my frozen ogre. I'm heading out. It's been fun here at DreamWorks Land today. 
Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's a bit of a longer video, um, but thank you guys for staying tuned in, having fun with me. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna head home. You know, I got here early, rope dropped. Rope drop was worth it. Coming here to DreamWorks land and had a great time. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. It does help out the channel. Um, and let me know who your favorite DreamWorks characters or favorite DreamWorks movie, whichever down in the comments. Uh, mine is Shrek, without a doubt. I love Shrek, always have. So I got this. So I'm gonna enjoy this, figure out how to open it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging with Ham. Peace.